expect and then just heavy stacking a main straight up especially if the killjoy is going to be on a side they still have a chance here but zespio going to be taking down nc slash in a very quick manner Lexi though, ooh, the boom ball catching out ER and SMG. Finding another target, but Dern King now with a catch onto the jet on the other side. The spike gonna get taken back here by Blaze, but speaking of the Blaze, left. it's right in front of him. Incendiary getting in the way, foul, foul, foul. Moving on around, finds that frenzy in hand. And JD Faker using the high ground right now to his advantage and team push. But here comes Boom, they're already setting it up, going for that intel. And foul, 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 forced on away by the market. Because this is going to be Boom trying to take it. A Dern King catching out JD Faker there. And it's a good start here for Boom Esports. SMG on the bonus round though. Lexi still managing to get a kill. Zespio on that one tap to, to Eeyore as well. Oh, quick Ooh. dash. Dodge the first few shots, but Blaze is there to still chase him down and take him down. Lexi though, taking that Vandal in hand. That's a chance. He finds a target here. He's the head of the jet, but no, Dern King. Get the, the catch instead. You're gonna get the takedown onto that raise. Fall, fall, fall. Stim Beacon is down. Extra Pirate gonna be helpful. And he lines it up to get to so far. Asterisk though by the middle. And fall, fall, fall. We'll slight thing the blades though right in front of him as a Dern King whoops it out. The man made battles in the middle, but the courtyard will not have any corpses of the jet. Instead, it's Blaze though finding the tap onto Lexi there. Good pick up by the Silva. Really does. Uh, come up in those clutch situations but smg backing on away respecting team boom for now as the numbers are looking to pile up here for boom and smg will have to reinforce a site no I mean, especially way. in an ego round like this uh, shotguns abound sheriffs abound you definitely do not want to be overconfident and overzealous blaze predator though whips out the hunter's fury and takes down egoist getting a lot of value in this round x this could yeah, bode very well for boom good tap Good Hunter's Fury, and this is no kind of play if you get tagged twice there by the Lightning. So, it is going to be Boom right now having that advantage, and with that know-how, they can actually go for the push onto B-Side instead. Asterisk, he's a man on a mission, and he's scary with this Bucky. He has gotten one. The Dirty also on the board. Zespio, though, did get rid of the Owen before he fell, and now it's JD Faker making some noise. Can the Owen even stand a chance against the Jet? A good economy despite all that has happened. Boom, in the meantime, they did save up those guns. They did win a round beforehand. So they can actually go for the bias here, but not against that. Zespio and Fall 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 already on the board. Seems like the hot hands of Team SMG are still on fire. And since Zespio flick over to the left side, yes, he does. Blaze just gonna get smothered there. And he's looking for another one. Eeyore trying to walk on in. He's just gonna be sorry about that. It's all up to NC Slash with the Odin getting a bit of damage done. Ever late to the party, but it seems like they are the life of the party instead. Fall, fall, fall. He's a little too eager. And Blaze is going to be able to get that shot. That recon bolt forces the Brimstone out. That is going to be goodbye already to the smokes of Team SMG. Zespi in the meantime. This time the counter play is there. And this is what Boom Esports is just so good at doing. They love to figure out what the Osh position is up to. And if they suffer because of it, they find ways to counter it. Lexi though shrugging off the Boom bot and brings in the Boom against Boom as a Durant King and even Asterisk going to be falling on down to the two duelists. NC Slash now trying to push on forward. They know they've taken the Bit of space because of the damage against Lexi. This has to be careful play from the Rays. Can he go for the shots? Already fires before the targets get in position. And while Egoist will take advantage, it's Anti Slasher on the board. Showstopper misses wildly. It just zooms past the Killjoy there. And it's all up to Eeyore. Can he actually do it in pitch combat? He's out in the open. And around every new second is a new experience against Team SMG. A Dern King, though, in the middle. And here we go with Egoist finding that kill anyway. Right Killjoy right now moving back to B site. It seems like we already see Team SMG adjust. Their positioning here, expecting Boom to change it up. And for Boom, they're playing into the middle, but they have less of the choice because it really feels like SMG has every single flag, every single angle, and every single direction covered except the backward side. Yeah, I like the autonomy that SMG is showing here right now. I definitely have everything in check. And the game sense is pretty on point right now. But as I say that, NC Slash or Glimmer of Hope there, taking down Lexi, which is a really big kill. Egoist, though, able to answer back. Yeah, he's cooking it something up, but here we go with ER and Blaze. Getting its targets there. But fall, fall, fall with 2 HP and a Dream. And the Dream already can get started with a takedown there onto ER. JD Faker trying to make that Odin works. There we go with a pixel shot. Blaze! His head is peeking, and that's all fall, fall, fall needs to get that takedown. Can he find Asterisk? Uh, but will they be able to thwart off the defensive lockdown? That Venn diagram is going to be right there as Blaze Predator taking down Egoist.
And Blaze does get that kill, but unfortunately, since the lockdown is into play, it does get in the way. And now Blaze is going to have those jazz hands looking to dance on around. Luckily, no one going to be his partner there, and he will survive for now. So in the end of that Venn diagram, we get one thing in the middle, and that will be Egoist and his demise. But Lexi, he has found two so far, and he's lashing them with the refrag. But it has evened up the odds here between Boom and SMG. Zestview misses the shot. Great call, though, with the blast back to move on by. And Blaze right now even catching out JD Faker. Seems like Boom has a handle on this A site. Blaze Predator going to be planning a spike. It's going to be a 2v2 here, particularly going for the retake with an operator is a bit more challenging. So I wonder if Zespio will be swapping uh, guns right here. Fall, fall, fall gets spotted out as NC Slasher takes him down. It's all going to be down to Zespio. Second time that's happened. Recon Vault. Ooh, shiny little thing. Let me shoot it. <laughs> and someone shoots him in the head instead. So unfortunate there for our Brimstone. And now it's all up to Zespio. Can he clutch things out? Very, very difficult waters though, as these positions now for Boom gonna be pretty much substantial. But as I say that, NC Slasher, a little too eager, decides to hop on top. It does die because of it. Now, double cloud burst and dash is on the way. Seems like time is gonna Looks like Team SMG, they're trying to play a bit of that orb control. Zespew, does he just need that pixel? It's a Dirt King as well as NC Slasher getting on the board. Great kills there by the duelist. They see a side. It's a free path to take, and they are on it already. No, oh, the timing for Zespew was just not there. He was holding a Titus of Angle. Uh, but just backfired completely as Dren King made that opening kill. Here's going to be planning the spike. You have Kree rain over this, the, the site for now. But Lexi looks like he's going to be initiating this retake attempt. He's going to be trying as hard as he can alongside Team SMG. And here we go with a killjoy right now. Over to the high ground. Lexi though. Here comes the boom bot. Looking to say hello, look to scout things around, take a tour onto A, and enjoy the sights and sounds. And the Eagle Wisp, he's always such a cheeky cheeky player, taking advantage of any distraction, whether it be utility or a player for his team. Lexi though on the board again, here comes the showstopper right now, JD Faker will survive, and NC Slasher caught in the corner as Lexi blows him up. A lot of uh, information from their opponent while doing so, and uh, as the Killjoy over here Places that lockdown and Dren King will be taking down Lexi, but will it be enough to be able to take the site here? Again, NC Slasher only with a stinger at hand. 30 seconds left. Yeah, great call though with that lockdown. They knew that corner was the only place someone can hide in, and Lexi gonna get spammed down to oblivion. So Spike is gonna get planted here. And SMG on the high ground yet again. Rafters is really their staging ground by this point. And at the same time, the door can be busted down by the Jets as well as the Sova turret there. Gonna be at the place. Zespew though. Seeing a little bit of Blaze, and that's enough to get that takedown. Eagles right now looking for another target. We'll have to drop down to find one more. Anti Slasher with a kill, but it's SMG still making the cleanup happen. And Team SMG, if they are really looking for that real estate, gotta contact the Homeowners Association because I want a piece of that. And SMG now is up by five. Peacefully. And it's all because of their outstanding mechanical skill as well. Let's see what they do here in the uh, pistol round in the second half. Yeah, it's time now for SMG to show us what they got on the pistol. And of course, he got Zespew playing that frenzy as per usual. Probably one of his favorite guns in his arsenal. Now he's trying to knife this door to oblivion. Hates the door. Get out of my way, door. Just try to <laughs> cut it up as much as possible. But boom, they have set one up on B site with the Killjoy. The Omen and the Sova are on duty here on A. And I think here for SMG, if they find an opening onto a site, they will just rotate accordingly. Bit of a take action also, but here comes the noise already. NC Slasher mm. trying to hold the line, but the boom bot will say hello. And staying in the corner like that, gonna be your own demise as SMG right now making some noise on B site as well as a no bonus points for no taking points. both sites whatsoever. But SMG still want to do it. A Dern King though with a kill on to JD Faker. And SMG right now playing a bit of a lurk here with a killjoy spike though. They get planted now by SMG and Egoist Egoist gets the opportunity to, ask to get onto those sites. But in any case, SMG is at it and Lexi blast backing his way through the speedway. But Eeyore on the other side, JD Faker gonna be going on down there. It seems like for Boom, they're trying to scratch a few guns here, there, and everywhere. 
Said here, grenade dancing on around. And SMG now gonna be stuck in the pit. Can they survive though? Against the fury of Boom. It is gonna be a good start here for Lexi. Trying to move on closer and closer to the outside. Here in Blaze already gonna be going on down. Apparently, these predators are free instead. And Lexi, he's holding steadfast yet again. He's gotten a triple kill. And in every single instance we've seen Lexi, he takes people down in those spots before his fall. But Asterisk still. Bucky is his signature gun by this point. You've seen him dominate with this gun here, the Masters. But can he actually do it again? He's creeping on around though, trying to get closer and closer. Time is ticking. The Brimstone will see him. There we go with the Killjoy and Egoist. Great call there to move on up and find those takedowns. b sites now right for the taking as here comes Team SMG. Boom bots though, making some noise. Showstopper now in the play. And even if we see NC Slasher get that takedown off Lexi, it's Fall 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 burning down ER there. NC Slasher though with another one on the board, but Brimstone is not done yet. And SMG, after all is said and done, they are going to be Adam looking charge. to put the spike down. Oh, Fall 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 does cancel it. Feels like it's a bit too dangerous because he hears Spike a Deer King running on the round with those blades. And Spike now gonna get planted finally by Team SMG. Dirt King though, with only 28 HP left on the board, gets spotted by that recon. Do you have enough information? But does he know Fall 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 is right there below? Oh, he does! <laughs> I know, yeah, perfectly placed, but JD Faker, he tried to go for a last stand, but a Dern King moves over to the other side of that boathouse, and in that peekaboo entrance, it was enough for him to get that kill, but the timing was so perfect for a Dern King, he knew he mm. got scanned, and he was waiting for that Omen Paranoia to connect near the straightforward execute onto the site right now, it's gonna be tough for Boom to try and retake this. Yeah, that lockdown just in the way, but Asterisk, look at him decide Whoa. to play from the shadows, and behind that shed, it's just gonna be enough to get that takedown and break the lockdown at the same time. Now, Boom will say it's our turn to put up this dome, but Egoist does get killed off the ear, and SMG decided to go for the push instead. Time is running out, and SMG making some space for themselves to actually put the spike down. They've gotten the kills, and it's all up to Asterisk now. He got a really clutch play a while ago, but can he do the one before? It's Espido waiting on the other side, and Asterisk now gonna get on the board. Low HP for that jet, easy takedown for the Omen. But the turret now confirming his location. Not only that, the Recon Bolt is spying on him by this point. No privacy whatsoever for Asterisk. He's trying to mow down there near the edge of that shed. In this case now, the Omen. This is going to be so difficult for him, Bim. Immediately as I say that, Lexi fell to the hands of SMG as he was able to come in clutch. So SMG just uh, keeping on, keeping on, sustaining their momentum. Bits more speed in their versatility and their adaptivity. It really does feel like that that is the biggest strength right now SMG has in this matchup. But boom! No other thing they have though is that Bucky God and Asterisk. He just finds another target with that gun. Ego is though in the meantime. Finding another opportunity to get on the board. 4v4, B sites might be the take here as Boom. They not only have less members on that side of the map, but also the Killjoy is set up by the Cubby instead. Yeah, A could be pretty much uh, right for the taking here. It did get a uh, whip from that information that there's two over there in B. So this could definitely be uh, a, a, mid, a more straightforward attack here. But asterisk, 12 HP with a Bucky though. Might be able to take one down with him. So, got to keep an eye on that one. Yeah, of course. You already know his distance is already pre-calculated. He's gotten some rulers down. He put it on his monitor and he said, this is how far <laughs> I can be to actually make the Bucky count. But the Huntless Fury has been unleashed and the lightning spikes are coming here. JD Faker though with the takedown. E, you're going to fall. Ego is also now with the take on to Asterisk as well. But SMG, they're being fended off here by Blaze. SMG now having the advantage. Spike, big put down, alarm butt there on the high ground. Ego still with only 4 HP and all eyes on a Dern King for this fight. Can he find the winds of victory behind him as the shock ball is unleashed? And Ego is, he just gets surprised there by Blaze. Beautiful bounces by the Sova, but Lexi now with a catch on to the jet. Bound as it is going to be Team SMG on the attacking side first. They're already going for the shower take, but a great Molly there from Asterisk to get in the way. Aldrone right now going to get a bit of the spots, but the fires and the flames are just in the way for now. Yep, the Molly takes 10 years, but as I say that, they're going to be going in. Lexi taking down Asterisk. 
SMG, they're on sights and ready to pounce. A third can go on the other side. MC Slasher playing by the last, but the Eagle Wiss, he has the angle and he has uh, that takedown anyway. A third can now flashing and dashing, trying to move on around, looking to find a target or two. This time, though, no purples means no ways to fight back. And SMG clean up house. A quick take here from SMG as soon as the fireball's gone. Burning. <laughs> I'm learning. Put that one I'm in the notes, Bim. You can add I'm that to... i that down. Cypher Cam Viminal Edition. Step one, put it behind the solar panel. Step two, <laughs> win the game. But that's the thing, though. Blaze has really been not only the intel king here for the side of boom but he's also been the clutch king time and time again when in doubt look at blaze to figure something out but right now he is just gonna figure out that his life is already forfeit with the fires and the nades and even the lightning getting in his way asteris though he doesn't care about that cyber cage because all he needs is a clear shot and that's we're gonna go down the ear also on the board jd faker does find that target but nc slasher will trade him up and that's all eyes on egoist he's running out of time and he wants to fight someone here it's 1v3 the Cypher might not stand a chance against. They have a free gun if ever they need so. Because of the economy, the Brimstone can actually get, but the scan still connects onto Eeyore. Great angle there being taken by JD Faker and Zespi now gonna get that take down. Plant is coming and Blaze inside the smoke. Still gonna get sprayed anyway. And the spike has been planted. SMG, a powerhouse on that B site. And A, hey, look at that. Fall, fall, fall. He's back in position. <laughs> he's, he's ready for it. He's, he's ready. ready for it. I know the and lineup. <laughs> I'm gonna dunk it. I'm gonna dunk so, it. Go so ahead. whatever time that Boom Esports has to defuse the spike, that, you know, minus 20 seconds instantly. Yeah, just, <laughs> just don't bother anymore. Maybe look for a few kills here and there. A Durn King will be hungry to get that takedown. Asterisk in the meantime. Thing is, the Brimstone, he has nothing to lose. So he just wants to maybe get the exit if ever. He also will try to retrieve a gun maybe. Thing is though, then spend too much. Of course, are of course difficult. But what this is difficult <laughs> here for Team SMG is how sure they're going to be stacking this B long angle. But Adurin King now with a curveball and foul, foul, foul gets on the board against Blaze and Zespi with a punish. Even though the Brimstone did fall, it's SMG protecting their own. And for now it's SMG with the advantage. Oh, and see Slasher and Eeyore. They hold the line. And Team Boom will remaining. still survive for now. Beautiful Spike swing though down. over to the left hand side. He's spraying the cubby and that's it. At the start of slow play, I don't feel that same kind of ants. I think it's really more of a slow burn kind of thing as Asterisk. Just find Zespi immediately, NC Slash in the meantime, but busy with the paint shells, and Lexi will take advantage. Ego is also pushing on forward. Here we go with the Neural Tap into play, and the Durn King getting tagged already. Can he survive as the shower? Gonna get taken by the Brimstone. Foul, foul, foul from in behind. Ego is just waiting for Eeyore, and the ultimate opportunity will strike again. Plays though, seeing the white hat gone from the Cypher, will just shoot the Balakon. Instead, and the Sova now on the high ground, being a watchtower on his own. The spike has been planted in SMG. They look for the lineup, and they're already prepared, but they still need to protect that ticking time bomb. Let's see, if Blaze will actually get a pick here, but Big Faker will be at the ready. And as soon as SMG really switch, seeing some action very, very soon right now. Oh, NC Slasher, he missed the shot. He probably skipped that class. Asterisk was holding the other day. And unfortunately for him, that is going to be the demise of the Rays already. So one Bucky down, one Bucky to go. But rifles are going to be still a scary thing on the side of Boom. Running back is also yeah. available here for a Dern King if need be. And we'll see if Boom will change up the pace and try to play the aggro as it is a Dern King. Looking for confirmation. And there we go. TP plays again from Team SMG. Looks like uh, Visa is going to be ripe for the taking, but Eeyore is going to be there to try and stall for time. Does manage to get uh, Zephyr right there. Is he going to be able to find a second one? Yes, he does. Although on the high ground, but here comes Blaze. It's rotating already to the back of sight. On out. Ego is in the meantime, waiting by short. Boom already getting that intel, getting confirmation that someone is inside, taking a little bit of a refresher. SMG. They're running out of time again, and it'll be dicey for them if they're forced to play the TP here. It's like uh, they're just waiting for that smoke. Left. And of course, it looks like they're going to commit right here. Showstopper goes off, but he does not connect. However, that one does. 
Expecting that fast push, and NC Slasher whipped out the rockets, but the operator is the one that gets the kill. As I say that though, Ego, Shady, Fager, and Lexi just getting on the board, running and gunning their way to victory. And Team SMG, they have set on up. Spike can get planted, and E are now helping out Blaze there to get rid of Fall, Fall, Fall. There was a scan onto the Spike Planter, which was the Sova, but unfortunately couldn't get the wall banks into play. Scan though, does get connection, and this time now, it's gonna be Team Boom having the angles. JD Faker, still alive! Shock starts, almost getting that kill. Second shock start is coming, and there we have it. Blaze will shut that one down. Eeyore, though, on the other side with the triple box, and he knows one's playing by the cubby, but Lexi, surprise, surprise, behind the boxes, and the angels are gonna get thrown, forcing e You know, the funny thing is, I was really talking to some of my friends, and I was joking about it the other day. If you have someone who's a god at the Bucky end or the Sheriff, you'll have a buffer of money just like that. And Boom is showing it here, that it actually works. And proceed as Blaze! He just let lines up two, and the Hunter's Fury is enough to get those takedowns. Despy in the meantime, catching out Asterisk though from above. And SMG, they still have the spike, so they might still stand a chance at it. But already, boom, prepared to try and go for the rate take. Curveball play there though, exposing the Phoenix's position. And for now, SMG, they're trying to figure out what to do. And fall, 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 will he get that angle against Heaven? Seems like it's not the case. I like what Boom Esports is doing here. They're just waiting for the plant. They're going for the retake. They know they have the man advantage. You know, there's no reason for them to be overzealous and over peak at this point in time. SMG pretty boxed in as of this moment. The Dorn King might be spotted here. Eek. Peek me, peek me. Oh, Whoa. it just says hello. A little, a little hello, a little howdy neighbor kind of situation. But now SMG, they know their hand is forced. They'll put that spike down. Thing is though, fall, fall, fall. What is that one little utility I see in his hands? It still is got to be that incendiary ready to go. So it might be a last stand here for Zescu. He's going to be spying some time and he will be waiting for Team Boom to come. SMG. They might stand a chance to this if the Brimstone isn't spotted out anytime soon. But here comes Blaze already with the defuse. And here comes Incendiary. Will it be enough though to do the damage that needs to be done? No, it's not going to happen. Boom will just shrug off the flames and also boom though. The utter confidence to play post plant against SMG and their composition of choice is really a tough task to do. And they made it work. Even though they had enough advantage, they still knew what they had to handle. But for now, they're handling the hookah and they know that this is is gonna be an RSVP for them to enjoy. Boom Esports getting three so far. You're the only one to fall. He was even caught out by Asterisk here. All eyes on JD Faker. And with all those eyes watching the Sova, the pressure is- Or if Boom Esports will be able to overwhelm a site here. Yeah, the noose is getting tighter. The map is getting smaller here for Team Boom. And in the meantime, we have SMG still holding on to the showers. And Boom also playing very patient with the Sova on the other side. But Ego is already a good start there. Ear goes down. Play is also going to fall. A Dern King going to die too. As Lexi has gotten a double kill there as he wraps up against NC. Gets a whiff of that strategy and tries to counteract it. Oh, everyone's uh -huh. be jumping oh. around over here. Yeah. I, I didn't know it was Easter here, Mr. Bim. But since they only have four classics, and of course, Asterisk on that Bucky. And you already know it's an eco round here for Boom to just try and run and gun their way to victory. But Blaze, he finds a kill there onto Egoist and slides out the cage. And Asterisk, he just becomes target priority number one as he shows his hand, which is the Bucky. Spike the planted, and Boom, they found a way to make it a post plant. SMG in the meantime. Thing is, though, they are stuck on the other side of the defense spawn, so it will be a difficult scenario for them because this Bucky is watching them out. But Foul, Foul, Foul now catching out Asterisk. Blaze, though, and E are taking advantage, and it's all up to Lexi yet again. Blaze right now playing the flag. He knows the shock dart lineups, and he does get the tag. Can he actually go for the kill, though, as Lexi has stopped the defuse? The scans are there in the play. They're trying to play that Pika game, oh but it's still God. Blaze. The lineups and the bounces are gonna prove for him to be stellar hand at it in the first place. Now, boom, they have a feeling that this might be the op on the other side. Heat, now you're dead. Okay, SMG, they get on the board, and he are a little too far to the left, I'd say, in his antics there. Yeah, Zespi's gonna say, job done, and then he's gonna be going over to A site and try to repeat the same success story that he had over there onto B long. Check that out, though. Really good uh, defensive hold from those cypher cages. This cyber cage getting in the way from Zespu though. It's work, work yet again. And Dern King right now, he finds one target thanks to the scans there. And JD Faker will go down. Blaze though also on the board, but Zespu is still making it happen. But as 
the risk. He forces out the opposition. NC Slasher also winning out the duel. And it's all eyes on fall, fall, fall now. Can he actually make this one work? A beautiful orbital strike, though, to put the jet in such a bad position. And now the Brimstone dropping on down. Can he actually get the target? But there's someone waiting on the other side of that smoke. The Brimstone also. Masters creeping closer and closer. And Peekaboo, I see you, says Blaze. It's boom right now. Blaze also, of course, ER has been getting on the board on the defensive. And this time, a third king will say, let me get a kill, guys. Because Ego is trying a little too efficiously. Now, here we go, though, with a running back. And the Blaze start immediately looking dull there. As a third king is heating on up. Yet again, three kills already. Blaze right behind him. And all eyes on Lexi now. He only has a sheriff, but Boom Esports, they should be able to take this round unless Lexi has something to say about it after getting that kill. Spyco has been planted, and now the next duel will still go to Lexi. Lexi, though, left with 61 HP. Still three opponents just taunting him down right here. With a really band. tall order. Herbaldo says hello. Now Lexi, what's the plan? There's someone waiting on the other side. He's trying to free fire it, but he hits the door frame instead, unfortunately. Uh, only three bullets in the chamber, gonna be reloading. And Lexi, he's done a lot of damage, honestly. He has a gun, he can actually back on away and call it a day. But no, he wants to beat it, get rid of Enzy Slasher! Lexi right now, no, get the ace! And he Hello? says nothing is impossible because Lexi will still hold this one together. And SMG looks hey. to believe, will they what? make it? Yes, they do! Oh With my half God. a second remaining. To play this style, they said, you know, we showed you guys how to do this yesterday. And they're very, very patient as a squad. And I feel like it's not going to be as anxiety-inducing as yesterday's game and bind because we are actually very deep into the rounds. We're at round 19, so less on the jitters and more about those reactions. Absolutely, it's going to be fighting fire with fire here. As the rest of the Boom Esports squad, they're going to be all committing through B long. This might not be good for SMG, left. but Cespio is going to be on the attack. Yeah, he's found a kill already. This is a shot against the jumping Adurn. But in the meantime, fall, fall, fall. Catches out the NC Slasher anyway. Now the incendiary going to be thrown to the feet of that dead, forcing him out. And Asterisk now with a catch onto the Brimstone on the other side. But time is running out, and the showstopper is upon us. Unfortunately, though, for Team SMG, they didn't get the hit. Blastbacks now trying to get a bit of the bait as well. Adurn King holding behind the side. We have the Brimstone though inside that container. The Phoenix and the Cypher just not able to hit those shots, but Egos eventually will get that takedown. Asterisk now left to his own devices. Just a Brimstone in the middle. Not the game you'd like to play. And SMG gonna get an operator. Probably as hot as this map in real life if ever. But no sweat for either team as Zespew. He's just cooling it off again. NC Slasher. I wouldn't be surprised if Boom decides to actually try and fight back with their own off because we know that NC Slasher is a Ooh. great shot with it. But Zespew, he is just on a different level right now. The angles taken by SMG yet again. How big can this crossfire work? That big because it's Boom losing out again. SMG is onto the site here. Let's see if they can get onto match point here. Yeah, running back though, getting absolutely nothing. They have gotten the intel that no one is home on the back of site inside that lamps. And the defender is going to be in the showers instead. So Dern King will look to challenge. Whoa, he has get, he's in a good range, but Zespew is still a little too quick on that itchy trigger finger. And this itch is going to get scratched perhaps by the second kill. Neural Teft though, it'll be thrown out here by their Cypher as it seems like Blaze had to handle with that shot. Good disengage there by the Jet. Gando does come. Orbital Strike is there! And the cannon from above gonna force out to fall, 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 even burning down Asterisk. And the space has been made. Blaze doesn't have enough shock darts there to volley it onto that spike. And now changing the pace really catching Zespio off guard. Catching him by surprise here. Definitely uh, keeping your opponent guessing very important. But Lexi, on the other hand, will be taking down a Jordan King. Beautiful flick there. Lexi holding that garden, pretty much his home court by that point. And you can see why he is just blooming right now in that spot. And Lexi has got it right finally. Either will on? shut him down. He, he just grows with it. You know, the, the proper nutrients are there. He has some good oxygen. And JD Faker, hot this fury. But unfortunately for him, this is bind. And the teleporter will save the life of the Cypher and give him an opportunity to put the spike down on A. You are going to be setting the camera down, planning by the APC. You have just enough time to plant and reposition. Shout the though, a bit off the mark. And really get the catch, and you are wanting to go for the push. Can he actually get the angle here? As JD Faker has one more to unleash. This time, it barely hits the Cypher. 
It does get a bit of the tag, and now chipping away from that armor here, Bim. 1v1, so as J Again, during the end, the tail end of that round, it was just JD Faker not being aware of him being open to lamps. Yeah, but... I told you, though, he... He's a tree there, Vim. So, yes. right, so boom. They're able to push on to B-side. That's going to be a good first step for them. But it's still all the members of SMG on the board. Still alive. JD Faker, though, going to get hit by the curveball. Third King, a little too far off. Couldn't really push. Jasmine now does get the kill back against the Phoenix. But Blaze finds the refrag. And it's now 3v3 as SMG is trying to crawl on through, get a bit closer to their opponents. Egoist gets a pick here. He gets taken down. It's all out of line down. Lexi. Uh, but Sky's gonna be there as the smokes go down onto Heaven as well as Defense Connector. Okay, so it changes things up here, Vim. Since it's gonna be four frenzies on the defense, wouldn't it be surprised to see them just huddle up, says, Team Break, let's go, hut, 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 <laughs> and just come together and split on apart and try to take people down with the speed of their guns. And already we're seeing the rotation here from Team Broom. They're preparing themselves. Waiting at that, they're looking to come together. The guiding lights have to be the rally call there. Sometimes you need the flag to inspire you, sometimes you just need to see that bird in the face of the opposition. But Ego, as he's taking opportunities yet again, he has found two so far. NC Slasher though on the board. Here comes Blaze, gonna be getting a kill as well. It seems like the side of SMG is be stuck on the short angle, but Lexi, he's just holding it yet again. He has gotten two so far. NC Slasher jumping into the smoke for the takedown, but fall, fall, fall. He has the classic, he's able to jump for joy in the first place, but Spike now planted blaze though looking on the round and lexi he just holds so, so true and really the bible of lexi has to open up and say you will defend and you will survive i mean taking into account you know his agent pick reina here really suits his play style you know he's always just such a a, a bastion all by himself and really giving him that sustain in his kit Really? Please don't look at me and Lexi said okay from the other side. It's try <laughs> you try to come out. You're coming out of a bathroom stall and you just don't want to have eye contact with the next guy, especially <laughs> if you you had a quite an experience there. But then again, it's till Team SMG getting the spike down. 4v3. They do have a gun for Fal Fal Fall, that vandal watching the A long flank. The Bucky though for JD Faker as well. Might be a big surprise from that Sova who's watching the sewer as Boom is swarming on in from three different angles. We are down with a kill on the fall, fall, fall. And here comes Blaze also getting on the board. Guiding Light gets confirmation. And JD Faker, he will get rid of Blaze, but that's going to be the third king covering his black. Eor though does wrap it up. But do they have enough time? It's going to be a bit close, but it should be Boom getting the win. It's the BFB, the Boom full by because they have that Bucky yet again. But actually, it's actually Spectre there for NC Slasher. So it's not really the best kind of scenario here for Boom and losing a Dern King is going to be even worse for them because SMG, their take is solid and they're ready prepared to hit that spike as much as they can in the post plant. But Blaze is already in the face of JD Faker preventing those bow and arrow volleys from actually getting any connections. Zespu though, good turn around there, catching out ER. Here comes Blaze now by the platform on the other side and the paranoia going to get thrown out here by Asters as well. He does dig the head but Zespu able to get on the way with a sliver of HP. Asterisk though, on the hunt, foul, 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 already getting on the board. And SMG, they're setting up a crossfire for that spike. And Zespu, he just wants to get in line of sight of his friends, and make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. He does turn around though, to catch out the Omen, stalking him, and SMG. Right now we're seeing Zespu keeping his eyes open by b side. SMG? Changing up the piece of the game by showing a bit of variety also. There by B-side by the Durin King. He sees the hands of the Jet and that's enough for him to take him down. Three on row here already to the side of Boom. And they're also playing the Leer as well. JD Faker though. Hunter's Fury looking for the tags and can he get it? The Seeker though confirms his position. And now NC Slasher going for the defuse. JD Faker trying to protect himself. He's the lone member left of Team SMG. He's got in the wall bang. There's a flag from ER right now. And Team Boom. Seems like the trip bars are just all waiting for prey to come. We did see the demise though of Blaze there by C Link. So this SMG is anticipating that it'll be less members here because of their pickoff. But Eeyore still a man on mission and he's on the higher ground. With SMG, I'm unable to get that initial push. It is difficult for them to make this a slow play that works. But Eeyore's bringing it down and he'll get taken down by JD Faker instead. NC Slasher though, Showstopper unleashed and he does get a kill onto the Sova. Foul, foul, foul though with the shutdown. But Third King is there to try and clean on up. And Asterisk survives the volley to set up. So they're going to be planning over there onto default. Spike planted. Spike has been planted as they go exit onto a long for that post plant. 
bit far away though. It's not completely near the boxes. Instead, it is more in the open, giving SMG a bit more space to breathe, a bit more angles to look at. But also, boom, can do the same thing. So dark cover does get in the way. I'll drop right now. Almost got the shot onto ER, who does drop down instead. And there we go with the one-way antics. Paranoia though, connecting onto his own teammate. Asterisk will be looking to take point instead because of that. But Ego is, of course, bringing it down. Foul, 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 also on the board. And here comes the Dirt King. But Sasfew will wrap it up alongside JD Faker. That cro Not a bad thing. I, I think sometimes it's even the best thing. This might be the big boom that we're looking for. And oh, it's the Slasher. He has taken foul, foul, foul down. Aster is also taking advantage of the chaos. And it's now 3v3. But Eeyore taking points, taking lessons from Aster is there. Even catching out the Sova on the other side. But the Operator will still have that smoking barrel after that kill. Spike though planted. And it's Sheriff and Bucky versus Operator versus Vandal. This is where you're looking to go into a bit of a trip shop situation, Bim. Sometimes hmm. good deals are just right in front of you. And if we can play this right, they might be able to just make it happen. But no, this is what Exquisite Taste is all about. They'll be both down and out. Empress though has been popped. And you gotta respect the Empress with another contender to that crown. Fall, fall, fall though. Crowd step onto the side, but plays just perfect positioning yet again by the window. Getting three, XC Slasher also preventing the rampage of Lexi angle. But the blinds are coming and paranoia meets paranoia as Lexi finds Blaze instead. Close to the log, so Astros trying to hold and catch out the omen on the other side. But Egoist will take advantage of the sacrifice of his teammates. And SMG now planting on C. Spike planted. Yeah, looking pretty good for them as they do have four to two man advantage. As the Burn Gang tries to wall bang there on the back site. You really get a lot. <laughs> he's, he's put in the effort and nuisance. I commend it. Bit of a, a, a little a little too thick on that side, I'd say. But then again, still gonna be trying to do that damage. And the Durant King now on the board. Egos will go down. Give him the chance to dismiss on away. But patience is a virtue that JD Faker is waiting on. It's all about the attention right now. Lexi is just doing it again. And not tripping on to a long. No one gonna be meeting him here so far. It's gonna be all about the short angle instead. But Lexi holding the line. But this time he's gonna get swarmed a little too much. And boom, we'll shut him down. The Dirt King on the board. Spike so can get planted. Hmm. I do believe that there was a little bit of the Devar there for a Dirt King. So he's gonna be pretty much topped up, almost to full armor. But ER now caught out by Egoist and SMG trying to play this retake. I'm getting a little bit of deja vu here. This is the exact same take we saw in the first round. But oh my <laughs> gosh. Shot. He was Beautiful. just going away, and that was the present to remember. Zespi, though, he does find the omen. Have to play out their gun advantage here. You gotta rotate really quickly, as of course, Boom is planning to go for the swarm right here. Spike down, see. Gee, though, they've gotten two, but Boom gets so much value in the C tick. And they found their way through to the site and really the power of the sky enabling that in the first place. All about those flashes in open radiuses. And in this case now, the spike has been planted. SMG playing on the sea long. They're making a bit of a Congo line, but they have to be careful. But they're in King Gets this lineup's gonna be so easy for them. Pass the smoke though. JD Faker has already peaked. Thanks to the leaders here from Lexi. Blockading that fish. The eye just watching out for them. And yes, the lineup was there for a Durant King, but it's not enough as SSP has already scattered on the way and is up to the task to very important. But unfortunately, you can't use your nose in this game. Instead, you have to use your eyes. And the Durant King witnessing Sesfu with out those blades and he will shut him down. Boom, though, with the advantage already. Gonna gain the takedowns courtesy of the Omen, the Cypher, and that's Kai. And that's all she wrote for that round for his place. So, Seekers, though, Gonna be in the play right now for Blaze. And I'd really love how he plays it out because he does use it for cover alongside getting that intel. Hunter's Fury though is the call and fall, fall, fall inside the smoke using that reconnaissance to get a free takedown. SMG, they are prepared. Ego is also getting all a kill there. And that's two in a row for the Cypher. Zespu now shows up. Case now. That was just SMG making it work. So Team Boom is going to be actually bringing in the fireworks as they're already straight into B site. The quickest take possible on a map like this. The guidelines are there. The leaders are there. But Ego is still holding strong in behind. Ego is now going to get to. Seems like he's going to be struggling his ego a little bit more. But the 4 for him as the White Hat does dissipate. And the Neural Tef is unleashed. It's Blaze getting the takedown. 3v3 for now. But look at that flank. It's Lexi watching out by the window. Eeyore. Oh no, did something happen to Eeyore as Blaze right now catches out SMG there. JD Faker will shut down the Cypher and SMG. They might be able to take advantage of this as they are going to be seeing Team Boom on the Lynx instead. Crossfire though being tried to set up. 
But Lexi holding the line so far. That is going to be the Sky and the to unleash this up. There is still one Guiding Light, though, in the hands of the Sky. That might be the play to go. Paranoia, though, does get unleashed. But a dash on the way is a little too much in the face of Team Boom. And ER will get that kill. Ego is, though, in the meantime with 33 HP and a Dream. He got hit by the splash damage. And Astros will wrap it up. JD Baker, though, making it a of Shock Balls onto the default. And fall, fall, fall now with the angle instead. JD Baker now cleans up NC Slasher. But Astros there in behind to take. Take down the opponent and the omen clutches out though. He's got in three. He's looking for the lineup and yes, he does get it there. He sprays it down. He gets it. On Nick. Seems like they're not going to be sending through Nick. I know exactly. So the ER breaking through a garage there. <gasps> Egoist. He got a kill with a trip bar. What? Place. Yeah. I don't see that oh, yeah. happen too often. I, I, <laughs> this is the first time I've seen that in the tournament, I think. Oh, oh my. The slow HP, unfortunately, for the sky. But Zesty and JD Faker, they know the angles immediately. And they also get those kills. Now, NC Slasher with only 10 HP. And JD Faker sprays that smoke just in case and hits the head of the race there. But it's not all, all up the Dern King. The Empress hasn't popped, and there's the first kill, unfortunately, for him. Lexi is just here. The setup is pretty strong here for Team SMG. But Ego is also offended on the way. Lexi right now gets a little bit of help, and now he does get rid of NC Slasher. Two in the row for the Reina so far. Ego is also from above, and Nasser is trying to play into the hell. Has Paranoid being primed. Unfortunately for him, no one could peeking there from the other side. High ground now taken by two. And when we see the drop down, yes we do. Zespu gets in the face of plays. Egoist also shot. Be able to catch them off guard with that operator and get an early pick. Looks like that's what he wants to do here. Really good in anticipation to smoke off a long just like that, but... Lexi gonna be taking four position, will get traded out by Eeyore though. And beautiful shutdown onto Lexi. This is the second time it's happened. It's just a 1-4-1. One one. And the map like Haven, it's SMG now at the disadvantage without that extra firepower. Not only that, Lexi has been such a linchpin of this yep. defense. In this case now, it seems like the weeds have been cut on the way. And boom, they've been looking to throw themselves onto A side. Yes, we don't try to go for the shots with the smoke. Can't hit them, JD Faker. No, in the meantime, buy that left side for the graffiti. But it's Asterisk getting the trade anyway. Team Boom, they have the opportunity to put the spike down. And SMG have to rotate there. Asterisk, though, with a sliver of HP left. Not sure she can do an operator from this angle in uh, a tower right here. As Post Plant is in full swing. It all depends if they can kill someone over there onto the hard right. Oh, fall, 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 and Ego is taking advantage. He's not the paranoia, but NC Slasher will shut him down immediately. Showstopper in the face, couldn't hit it. And it's now Zespu versus Asterisk in the 1v1 slate. Can Team SMG get the clutch here? Will we see the captain just sign on front oh, again? Asterisk, though, with a TP, oh, but Zespu will get it. And the anticipation will turn into celebration.